Can liquid metal really be shattered by liquid nitrogen? Hasta la vista, baby. Like in this famous scene from Terminator 2. Hey Brainiacs, Miss Neutrina here. Did you know that this thing we call air is mostly made of nitrogen? Yep, about 78% of it. Yet another odorless, colorless gas, but even less noticeable than CO2 and O2. Did you also know that you can force nitrogen into a liquid? You just need to pressurize it and drop the temperature low. I mean, low, low, low. a lot lower than your home freezers. Well, I happen to have some liquid nitrogen right here where we can test some things out. Ooh, I can't wait. Let's get it down to a science. Since we don't see liquid nitrogen naturally on Earth, any observations of it would be some science demo or a video like this. For me, it was watching Terminator 2. When the liquid metal bad guy freezes by liquid nitrogen and he shatters into like a gazillion pieces. After seeing that, a lot of us ask the question, can liquid nitrogen really freeze liquid metal to a point where it can shatter? And since I'm gonna test it out, this truly is a testable question. Which means we got ourselves an experiment, experiment, experiment! This is gallium, an elemental soft metal that gets kinda liquid if you hold it long enough. Once we get this good and warm, Let's test it out with the liquid nitrogen. But safety first, you guys. Hasta la vista, baby. Frozen solid. As a side experiment, we soaked an action figure of the bad guy in liquid in for several minutes. We shot at it with a spring-loaded ball bearing, and much to our surprise, it didn't shatter. So we tried to smash it with a socket wrench. It broke apart, but it didn't shatter like in the movie, nor like the gallium. This kind of plastic responded differently. Our hypothesis on this one was wrong. I know you didn't think we were gonna stop there. You know half of science is messing around to find out what happens. Oh. How would this cold, cold liquid react to an air-filled balloon? Let's find out. Oh wow, it's not even getting down in there far. It's already deflated. See how much we get stuffed down in there. Look at it just like shriveling. Is it deflating? Look, what is it doing down there? I'm gonna let it get as cold as possible now. We're gonna let it sit in there for a minute. All right, let's see. Just looks completely shriveled. Oh, can you guys see? I can see it really well. It looks like water, but guess what? It isn't. It's liquid air. What do you know about air? 78% nitrogen. That is so cool. It looks like a snake growing. But I hear some weird noises. It's slowly reinflating. Perhaps the best experiment is a sweet experiment. One you can eat. You may have heard that liquid nitrogen can instantly make ice cream. You have to pour in just the right amount. And within seconds, you got yourself a frozen treat. Hasta la vista. Bambino! Ha! So are we sharing a spoon? Or are you just going to spoon feed me? Are we, like, are we really doing this right now? We have to. Yeah, 
comes with the lab or something like that. So should I say like, ah, I didn't know you were sleeping. Yes, yeah, sir, sir. And I'll say, and I thought you were not making gelato. Tune in next time when we extract DNA from a banana. From a what? <laughs> Are you really going to... T Don't say a single word, furball. What? I was just going to say... Cut, 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 cut it. John is too busy. That's what she said. Ah, boom.